In this video, I'll show you how to fix a very simple problem that can happen with your Epson printer. So this is my Epson printer. And usually when you click on options and supplies here, you should have all these tabs on the top. So you get a lot of different options. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, when you click this, you only have two tabs or maybe sometimes just one. So you do not have all the options that you're that are available for your Epson printer. In this video, I'll show you how to get these additional tabs. So let's get started. This simply means that the driver has not been installed properly. So first step is to delete your Epson printer from your Mac. If you do not know how to get to this page, you simply need to open system preferences. Simply go on the um, top left corner, click on the Mac logo, go on system preferences, then select printers and scanners, and you should get on this screen. Select your Epson printer from this list. I have many printers, but this is the one. I mean, these are the two ones. And then simply click on the minus uh, sign, click delete printer, do the same thing if you have another one. Okay, good. Now we need to open an internet browser. Now go on Google and tap and type Epson with the, no, the model of your printer and then driver. One of the first page should be the Epson website with the driver for your printer. So this is mine, maybe yours is different. Once you're on this page, go down and over here where it says operating system, select your operating system. Mine is this one, then press go. Go down the page and here we have multiple options. You need to go where it says drivers, click on it. And here is the driver, printer driver. Go ahead and click the download button on the right side, allow. This is how it should look after I double clicked on the file that just got downloaded. I'll double click again on Epson printer. This will open, I'll click allow. Perfect, I'll click continue, continue, agree, install. Type the password of your Mac computer, then click install software. Then press close. You can move to trash, we don't need this anymore. And then go back on this uh, screen over here. Now we need to click on this plus symbol here. And from this list that will appear, we need to select our Epson printer. So this is mine. Click so it's in blue. And over here down where it says use, click on this and then select software. This will open and we just need to find the exact software on this list. So mine is this one. Press OK. And then press Add. So this is our Epson printer now. And when you click Options and Supplies, you should have all these different options. Uh, this is very important, especially if you're printing on thick paper to select this on because if you do not have the settings you're gonna have some black marks on your paper and it won't be very pretty so thanks for watching i hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video